Hi everybody, my name is Andrea Rocha. I'm 27 years old and I've been with Corazon Puro for about three and a half years now. I first heard about Corazon Puro through Carmen. Um, she's the missionary who brought Corazon Puro to the Rio Grande Valley. And she would invite us to the monthly meetings. And one month I just decided you know, to take the chance. And I was just welcomed um, with a lot of love and friendliness. And it was very overwhelming to just, they were so genuine. You know, They really wanted to say hi and to get to know you. And it wasn't awkward either. They were complete strangers. I hadn't met these people before, but they were so welcoming and they were loving on you and they were excited for you to be there. And so you couldn't help but be like, okay, like this is cool. This is different. My first experience was at that monthly meeting and just um, continuing to go and being welcomed by that you know, they really, they called it a family and it really did feel like it because it felt like you were just coming together even though you were all these strangers. But, um, you know, they're like, welcome back, like, hi. And it was just amazing to get all this information and to be learning about my faith in a way that I had never learned about it before. The, the cool thing about Corazon Puro is that you get to grow together, right? And it's a journey trying to figure out who you are and who God's calling you to be and to be able to really live that out. It's been very important for me to have my Corazon Puro family to be able to stay committed. It's been really important to have that family to fall back on and to be able to talk to you and to get um, advice and, you know, uh, resources. So as a teacher, I see a lot of uh, confusion just with everything in the world and not really knowing their place. And I remember feeling that way too. And I, I really want for young people, youth and young adults, right, to get to know God and to become of a Christian family. Because like I said, surrounding yourself with those people, it's way easier to do it with people that want the same thing as you than with people who are pulling you, you know, the other way. I just really think that it's important them to have that guidance to really be a part of a church family. And so it's just, it's really important for youth and young adults to be able to have that to fall back on and to have that support.